Hey everybody, good afternoon. Uh, it's 12.30, doing this video a little earlier as I have a varsity game tonight, first one of the season here in Washington State, so uh, got to get ready for that. Uh, so this video's going to be out uh, right about market close. So let's just jump into some think or swim. So uh, let's go to GameStop. So we got a push right off the open early this morning. We're just going to look at the five-minute chart you've already seen daily. So push right off the open, try to get through this 140 level, couldn't get it. Massive sell-off most of the day, down to this $90, $85 area, bottom out at 86 now we're pushing higher. Uh, got this good consolidation here between 10 and 11 o'clock over this 22, and then bam, took off again after hours, got, after hours, what am I talking about? After 11, uh, pushed up, tried this 125 level where we had consolidation early in the morning, failed, couldn't get through that, and now selling back down to the moving averages. Uh, so we'll see if we can get a little pop up here. Uh, going into the close, uh, I haven't looked at strike prices, but I imagine this $100 area is going to be a huge uh, uh, area of uh, uh, strike price options, right? So for the calls, so they're probably going to fight markets. Big guys probably going to try to tank it to the $100 level, see if it can hold there. Uh, AMC, you know, very similar chart. A uh, little, you know, almost exact same. You're not not as aggressive selling. Right, so this wasn't as low as yesterday when it got down in the uh, sell-off here at the end of the day, but basically bottom off this pre-market area. Uh, this seven, what is that? Seven seventy-two. I can't even see it in there, so I apologize for that. But the twenty-three fib basically used as a support area, seeing a pie right now, curling here into eight point two, uh, now back into eight three. So this looks like it's going to go higher. So let's see if the, uh, GameStop does as well. Um, overall markets kind of you know sold off real hard in the morning uh, and then and then bounce back pretty quickly here in the morning now moving sideways so if you just look at the weekly just to see like we are uh, basically using this nine as a as a level of support here around around 381 and you can look at the hourly I usually leave the S&P on the hourly but uh, try to get through the 50 couldn't do it now consolidating in the nine and the 22 so it's gonna be a down week so let's we'll have to see what the markets want to do uh, next week. I'm sure there'll be a lot of uh, newsworthy events over the weekend. Uh, you know, some things picking back up in the Middle East, uh, stimulus packages, uh, a lot of other stuff going through the uh, politicians and uh, congressmen at, in D.C. Uh, so just other names, CCIB, which I didn't talk about this morning, uh, started to curl back up a little bit after sell-off, uh, curling here, you know, decently tight range, 29 to 31. Uh, workhorse, which I did talk about, other EV play, uh, somewhat of a spike off the open and then just faded all day. And then we had some other names come back, OCGN, been taken off here, um, you know, after basically lunchtime, 9 a.m. up. Uh, there's news that Brazil's uh, in contact with, uh, I never, I'm going to butcher this name, uh, Barret Biotech, which is an uh, Indian company and Occugen is a partner with them so prices is curling back up and this has been a runner in the past uh, you know basically gapped up at the beginning of the month from you know four five six dollars all the way up to eight eighteen seventy seven so you know basically tripled in price in a day on the gap held at 22 spiked up so this thing could run into next week as well um, Bitcoin, I don't know really want, if you want me to go through, back through Bitcoin, but it uh, bounced off that 44 early this morning, tried to break through the 48K level, uh, couldn't get over it, and it's selling off again right now. Uh, so, I mean, uh, I'm going to just wrap this up video. This is going to be a really quick one, less than five minutes. But it uh, looks like GameStop might be rolling over AMC, pulling back into the moving average right now. So let's see if they can get a push in the last uh, 25 minutes here at the close. Hope you guys had a great week. Hope you guys made some money. And I'll put out some videos this weekend. Probably again talking uh, electric vehicles, uh, cannabis stocks, uh, and then whatever else you guys want. Let me know in the comments if there's a certain sector you want me to look at. Uh, maybe overall market as a whole, you know, as we are uh, kind of selling off this last two weeks, maybe we are getting to a correction area. But, you know, to be a bear market, we still got to go down quite a ways. So a lot of things are happening. New month starting next week. So things are going to be moving. And uh, we'll have to see what happens. As always, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. And I'll see you in the next one.